so the match was disappointing. Uh, we thought we would have been better today, especially going away from the first game. You know, we had a, we had a decent first half in the very good second half, and the plan was to do the same here. So it was disappointing in all departments. We thought the, the opposition team was better than us. We tried to fix a few things. Today wasn't the day, and uh, go back to the drawing board, yeah. Are there any questions from the front? Uh, Madam, please wait for me to turn to you. Thank you. No, it's right here. Yeah, you can go. Coach, uh, see you from the kickoff. Um, I'm black on the defeat, Coach. I uh, just wanted to ask for you uh, what do you feel like it went wrong today? So we came out, we wanted to press, we wanted to be aggressive. We wanted to be aggressive uh, and be on the front foot. But we know that if you press at the wrong time against Pirates, they've got very good players who can run in behind. They've got good wide players, so to get the timing right is difficult. We got it right in the second half. We've got enough players further up the field to put pressure on the ball, so the quality wasn't going to hurt us at the back. And today we didn't get, we didn't get near enough for that. And then we're trying to protect the back line and then the team gets split. You know, we got half the team trying to press and half the team trying to protect the back line and then we left with gaps in the middle of it. And they exploited that well. So the plan didn't go according, it wasn't what we wanted. We tried to fix it by changing the midfield a little bit. You know, we put Petrus out of the out of the defence, put him into the midfield, hoping that we a little bit further up, you know, Carmel likes to to protect the back line a little bit more. Petrus is a bit more offensive and we thought maybe we could get further up the field. We didn't. To be fair, as things are starting to get better, they get a they get a second goal, and it becomes difficult from there. Do you have any more questions? Can I, the next three questions, starting with you, Belila uh, Noter, take on the third question. Coach, good evening. I've been up in the club a few times. Coach, where to from here? Because there were a number of signings that were made. Most of them believe that it would get further and then better than, 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 than the loss today. So do you believe that there will be more improvement from the team this is important? Yes, sir. The game doesn't change anything. We, we feel that we've gotten better. I think you see you see whether a team is better or not through training and hours that you spend on the field, not just from a 90-minute game. It's definitely better than what we've had in the past. We, we, we've brought in some experienced players that have been really good in our team. Uh, also, some of the youngsters coming through have surprised us. They've come through quicker than what we expected. So it's a good, it's a good combination that we're going. It's a good mix between experience and youth. You know, we are a club that, that we want to use our youth players. We want guys to come through, but we, we want them to come through and compete. So there's lots of healthy competition in training, which wasn't always the case last season. So we're expecting to get better. This is a team that can only get better. Yet. Black on the result coach, middle of the same you see here. I just want to go back to the game um, and you talk about um, your approach coming to, to the game. Maybe those two early goals, uh, especially before half time, would you say it sort of killed every plan that you had? Because now not only have you have to deal with them having an away goal, but also. <coughs> Um, they are little too nil in front of a pet on the stadium. Yeah, at that point, we've got to go and chase the game. And it's difficult to go and chase the game at a packed on the stadium, like you say. So from that point on, we've got to set, we've got, we, start take, we take off Carmel, we put on Pietras, we become more offensive, and we go and chase the game. I think we started the game. There were moments in the game where we started, when we started it, we, we looked like things were going according to plan. And then when we made the changes, there was a period in the game when things started getting better. We started getting our midfield, our number six, off our back line into the midfield. We were a little bit more aggressive, more on the front foot. And to be fair, things were starting to turn around. Didn't we? Then we conceded a goal, you know, a free kick. I, I have to look at the highlights, but I think it takes a deflection, it goes in. And then all of a sudden, you're in a packed stadium, you're 2-0 down. Uh, things become more difficult for you. But also, you know, individual performances, I think the guys will be disappointed with themselves. You know, we, we, we lost our jewels, we maybe didn't drop off at the right time. So there were the little things that we knew they were going to come with it that we thought we'd be better at and we weren't. And again, credit to, credit to Pirates, they played a good, good game today. We'll take the final two questions.
Chambers Hall and the Sports Coach. Pat um, Lagon in the result. Now that you've looking at the whole league, now that you guys, as, uh, alongside Orlando Pirates, Sundowns, um, still involved, you've had this game time that you, gives you actually a, 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 a positive looking from where we're looking at. How do you then use this MTN 8 run to better your squad? As you're saying, some of the players are disappointing. Um, how do you use this period that you've received, the mileage that you've received in the MTN 8 going to the uh, start of the battle? So, so like I said, we, we again disappointing game, but we've seen a lot of good signs. We're also a young team, you know. We we played against teams that are, that are established, and sometimes take two seasons, three seasons to get established. Some guys have been here for a long time. Teams like Pirates, so it's a it's a new team. They need to we need to learn what the partnerships are, how we play together. We had a striker that, that's only been with us a few days, come on the field today, for got forty five minutes. So we've seen the signs in training. We see what can happen with this team. We need to give them time and we need to you know we need to get to where we know we can get to we've seen it already we've seen the signs in the friendly matches even in the first in the first game against Sukhapuri we saw how we you know we found a way to win and I go back to our first game against Pirates there were lots of good signs so we take it from there it's I know it's difficult to say you know how can you be positive in a, after a performance like this but we, there are positive signs and we'll go forward. Final question. Um, coach, um, yesterday, uh, Coach uh, Jose was saying this city team thinks is a team that can can also uh, go on to challenge for big things um, this season, even in the league. And um, we've seen how you've brought in a lot of experience now um, because you're a more youthful talent. And um, what would you say is missing in the team? Um, to, to really make you contenders uh, for everything that will be competing for. And, and also I can imagine that in the past few weeks, planning, analyzing, doing everything on this Pirates team, you've gotten to right at the end in terms of what makes them tick. What can you say about this Pirates team? Because I think now their coach is going into his fifth cup final in a row. It's not a lot of They're an established team. We saw how well they did last season number of cups they've won since he's arrived, so it's a good team. We knew what we were up against. If anything, we thought it would be even harder playing at home. Where we go from here yeah, is we, nothing's changed. We're very positive about the team that we've put together. But we need you asked what we need, and probably the main thing we need now is a little bit of time. So a bit of time for the new guys to get used to each other, get the coaches plan in place, and then we, we, we're convinced we can go forward. What this team has added, what we didn't have in the past, is there's healthy competition in training. So, you know, we always sit down, we go on about 90 minutes, 90 minutes, but 90 minutes is a short period of time if you consider the hours we spend in training. So when, when you know, you're, when your right back is competing another against another good right back and your six is competing against another top six and your 10 is competing against a really good 10, then the level in competition in training lifts and that's what we need and that's what we were lacking sometimes. So if the level in training is up, then the level in the game will eventually be up which we've shown, and we need to maybe be a little bit more consistent because we've shown signs and it's been small periods of games where we've really been good. And again, I go back to the second half. Now we need a little bit more consistency, but the healthy competition in training, better quality squad, more depth in quality, I think we'll be okay this season. I think we're going to compete. That note, we've come to the conclusion of our presser with uh, Cape Town City. We'll be back shortly with the Orlando Pirates head coach. Thank you, coach. Thanks.